Hey guys, welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So today is all about some books. New books, book haul. Yeah, got some money for my birthday, so you know, I had to get some books. And then I had two sent to me from publisher, and I had one that I had bought previous. So we're gonna jump in, because I don't want this video to be too long. So the first one is a book I already read. I did a re reading vlog, so go check it out. And that is Sugar Bane. It is a finalist on the Man Booker. I reviewed. It's a, one of those reviews that was just, a, you know, it's an emotional read. Because this is a story about a young boy and his alcoholic mom. And I'm not going to talk much about it because I want you guys to go check out the reading vlog that I did. Um, but it's a chunky read, but check out the review. The next book I was hiding, ducking. Didn't want to pick it up yet because the hype is a bit much. Um, it's just really hyped. And I really liked this author previous book and I want to like this book so I was like let me wait a little bit before I picked it up and that is Transcendent Kingdom. Yeah, Jesse. So I'm going to save this for probably December because I want to read it um, and hopefully by then it, the hype will be down <laughs> so I can actually uh, see what it's about and see if I, it's my cup of tea. Although I, you know, I really love the first one but I heard it's completely different so we'll see. Then, you know me, gotta get the classics. Got to get the classic. So, I picked up another Dickens, and this is um, Nicholas Nickelback, and this is one of the ones that a lot of people love. And it is a story about a young boy, I think his father died, and he, his uncle's wealthy and don't really want to help or something going on with that, and he has to figure out how to support his family because they're broke. So we'll see how he's going to do this because he has ways of making the, the poor into villains and then sometimes the, he'll have the poor into the good guys and then there's time where it flips. So we'll see how what take he goes with this and it should be interesting. Then I wanted some Harlem Renaissance book. And the thing about Harlem Renaissance book, it is hard to find some of them in print. It is not easy. And when you do find them in print, sometimes it's not the published or that you really want so it's none of these are clean uh, uh penguin classic um so they're not gonna match they're not gonna look cute on my shelf for the rest of the book but it is all what it is so i got another claude mccain i think this is my fourth claude mccain i think anyway this is banjo and this is about a panhandler and i guess he has this um, dream of becoming a musician and he got some other guys together to do a band and this shenanigans and they're all from different cultures so we'll see how this play out but it is called Claude McCain so it's a hit or miss and how he ties it up. He will get you in in the beginning and then he'll do something where you're like okay how you end in this so we'll see we'll see we'll see. Next one is from a woman that is this, the first woman in the Harlem Renaissance series um, to publish a book. And I don't believe I read anything from her, but I have heard poetry from her. She's, I think, she did be in dabbing poetry. Um, but I have heard, you know, so we'll see. But the first one is called There's Confusion. This is from Jesse Renman Fawcett. And this one says it is um, Harlem Re Renaissance traces the hope and dream of three young African Americans as they search for love, financial security, and success. And it goes from Philly to New York. So this should be interesting. We'll see. And the next one, I don't know. It is called um, Plum Bum. I don't, I don't know. A novel without a moral. It doesn't have anything on the back that talks about it. Um, you know, it just says classic religion, history, folktale, um, that we'll see. Um, and it's also one of those that is supposed to be one of the earlier, um, revision that it's in, that they printed from. And you can tell because the font and everything looks very weird. Um, but it's interesting how it's going to play out because like a lot of the other books it's been edited several times and this one hasn't been edited much so it will be interesting to see the writing style the next books are historical fiction and the first one is called the address by uh, fiona davis um she is known for i guess historical crime 
romance, badness, all of that. This one is a historical fiction that is um, apparently going from past and present. Someone who is this Dakota home that's I guess it's supposed to be a bit historic, a lavish home and uh, a murder happened there and this involved a worker there and um, I guess the maid or something like that. So it doesn't really give you, um, it's kind of confusing at first when you're reading it because it's going back and forth. But I figure the little bit that I get from it, it just intrigued me. So I picked it up and definitely going to give it a try. The next one by author I know very well because I dedicate an entire blog post to going to this, to Little Italy because of that book and that's The the Shoemaker's Wife. If you haven't read that book, please pick it up. I loved it. It is an Italian um, historical fiction that has to do with immigration and love. And it was just one of those beautiful story. So when I saw her new one, which is Adriana Trigger. Tri yeah, I'm not even, I get tongue-tied every time I say her name. Trilliani, Trilliani, that's it. Tony's Wife, and this one is similar, um, and it came out maybe a year after that one, but it seemed like it's going to be um, another Italian romance that has some immigration involved as well. We'll see how this works, um, and definitely going to read this one. Um, probably not this year, probably next year. Then the next book is uh, another historical fiction, Remembrance, and this is from Rita Woods. I heard about this last year, but I never got to it, and I finally picked it up, but it follows four women. And it going from New Orleans in the 1800s, Haiti in the 1700s, and the present day, which is supposed to be a little bit after the earthquake, and, um, and two women, how they... Um, I guess cross paths and there's some kind of um, historical connection that they have. That's what I know so far. I don't want to know too much because I want to kind of get into this and see how it is. But it, it just seems like it's going to be one of those like grab at your book. But we'll see. Then I had to pick up The Awkward Black Man by Walter Mosley. Now Walter Mosley, you know, he, he got his moments. But this is a series of short stories that he's written. Some were published in other um, maybe magazines or other books. or And this is like a combine of it. Um, I'm pretty sure I never read any of the short story that was previously published in other areas. So I was like, this is a good one to have. I do like short stories, especially um, certain time of the year when I want to slow read. And I just pick up and read one story, put it back down, pick it up weeks later, read another story, that kind of deal. Um, so we'll see how this goes. So... What I got now, books that were sent to me by the publisher, which is two. And this is uh, Dark Fantasy. And the only reason why I said yes, because it was adult dark fantasy. And I and it has some historical thing going on in there. It is an African fantasy. Um, and it also has some erotic content as well. So it's very adult because I would not pick it up if it was a YA fantasy. Because um, it's just not my thing. But I was so happy about this and I was like I'm gonna do this because usually in November because I'm writing a lot I tend to like picking up things that has nothing to do with the genre I'm writing about and um so I can like refresh and block and not be so consumed by what I'm writing that I can't focus so I will read stuff like this and I will read like a memoirs which I do have a few nonfiction that I plan on reading as well. So I'm gonna probably read this next month and then save the last one, which this one doesn't come out until December. So this is actually an arc and read this in December and tell you guys how it panned out because it's a genre I don't read a lot of, but I'm here for it. So guys, that is it. Yay. And um, hopefully this is the last haul of the year. I do have three other books that did not come in the mail yet. Um, but if it, whenever it comes, I will show you those. And that should be it for the year. It should be. Anyway, because I've been trying to be good, guys. I'm trying to be good. So, let me know if you read any of these. And if any of these seems interesting to you. And, uh, yeah. 
Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.